We do have the Eight of Pentacles um, and the Strength. So um, this is about courage. This is about inner strength and courage. This is about uh, putting the effort into overcoming um, a situation that requires um, strength. We do have Strength and the Ace of Wands. Um, right? It's about passion, about passionate new beginnings. It's about uh, being on your best behavior or the person you are dealing with being on their best behavior while longing for this new beginning waiting for and i believe a new beginning is happening here for you sagittarius that is this energy of, but i have strongly manifested it ace of wands two of pentacles balance and new beginnings so let's see also choices choosing a new beginning for some of you so let's see what's um happening Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, choosing family and roots and community and like-minded people and um, birds of the same feather, right? Isn't it that the saying? So let's see bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And we do have the Ten of Wands and the Strength again. That is a burdening situation that we are very courageous about. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. We really want this, don't we? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, and the Ace of Pentacles. We, we long for an offer from somebody. Um, probably we are burdened waiting with the Ten of Wands. And um, and we are staying strong, but Nine of Cups, we really, right, Sagittarius, we want this. Nine of Cups, that's my wish fulfillment. And, um, and a new beginning, absolutely. Ace of Pentacles is... Um, you know the uh, the coffee that leads to marriage you know because it's um we are building slow and it's solid but we'll see we will see what this is all about so past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies you know uh, you know how it feels such Sagittarius. it feels like a situation that it's um so beautiful it's like we always wanted this that's a nine of cups that that is my ultimate wish fulfillment and yet i'm carrying 10 ones and it's heavy and it's a lot it's beautiful but it's a lot right <laughs> this is how it feels the overall energy we'll see current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome um, Leo was a tough reading, so maybe you are related to a, to a Leo because that is, um, you know, they had a tough one um, with energies of transformation. And here we have it. We have passion and we have pain. And you show up here, Queen of Wands, and you have pain twice. What is going on, Sagis? Who's in pain like this? Um, we do have the Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands, Three of Swords again, Eight of Cups. Are you kidding me? And the Sun, definitely that is a Leo here who walked away from you. Um, you might be the Queen of Wands and we have the Leo again, Eight of Cups. Somebody went because the destiny called and that is pain, that is pain and walking away. And destiny and avoiding disaster. What's going on, Sajis? Who left you, baby? Who left you like this? Um, it's okay. We have desire. So let's see what else. In the past, um, such days, we have uh, the moon and we have the three of cups. Um, three of cups is the energy of coming together with somebody, but it is paired with the moon. So we might have been afraid of, emotional about, in the dark about, confused about coming together with this person. They might have hurt you. I mean, honest to God, we have so much pain here. We have so much passion and so much pain. Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, twice, Queen. Eight of... Somebody walked away with a lot of pain or you walked away from this person with a tremendous amount of pain. Um, and probably you kind of contemplated at some point to go back, right? That was something happy about them. Three of Cups is the energy of happiness, you know? And with the Nine of Cups, the energy of them may making you happy at some point. So you wanted to, but then you tamed yourself. That's the strength card, right? Taming the instinct, taming the call of the flesh, taming the whatever you wanted. And it looks like you wanted a reconciliation, but it came with a world of shadows and fear. And we have the sun again for the love of God. 
um, we have the sun, sun strength, but probably that is a Leo, um, Sagittarius here, the love of God. Um, so this person of yours, um, Sagittarius, you, you might have been married to this person. We do have, um, we do have the Hierophant, right? Taurus energy. Um, can, might have been a Taurus, uh, might have been the Leo. Again, you have it twice, but absolutely they were committed to you. You know, the Hierophant is the energy of um, Sagittarius is the only person that I want. That is nobody else in the world, right? Um, and again, the energy, if you've been married to this person, this is I will stay committed till um, the day I take my last uh, breath, right? Um, is the energy of traditional commitment is the energy of a solid one and a happy one this is also your uh, the person you are connecting with actually saying you know uh, you made me happy um, in the past I was happy and stable and solid and committed and you might have had children with this person also we do have the son uh, might have been a child and then mutual energies between the two of you, again, the moon, it's interesting. It's about secrets, shadows, emotions, uh, lost confusion. Um, and because of it, maybe the situation, this um, connection of yours, such that it's got extremely stagnant or somebody changed their perspective about this, right? Um, might have been a third party situation, the moon with the three of cups, it's something in the shadow, too many people around the table, too many people in bed or something like that might have been. And, um, and then the whole experience was a very emotional one and one that changed uh, your perspective, their perspective. Um, I feel more your perspective because you get the moon while this person of yours, it was quite clear, you know, the sun is awakening awareness, truth and knowing. And it's with the commitment card. So I believe they were, they might have been pretty clear in their head while with you that that was a change in perspective. There, that was an evolution um, of some sort and an enlightenment because that's the hangman, right? So where are we right now? Such that is, we do have the full energy and we do have the page of swords, right? Communication and new beginnings. Communication, we are ready to uh, leave everything behind. The Page of Swords is the energy of smart ideas, is the energy of adventure, is the energy of taking risks, is the energy of having a plan, a calculated risk. Um, but still, right, longing for the freedom of the fool. And I so understand you because we have the moon twice. Of course, it can be a Pisces, can be, um, can be your person, um, can be your emotions, your world. But I'm sensing that was a um there was a moment um in the dark that lasted um a certain time and the fool is actually has the sun um uh, behind him right so things are uh, getting more and more illuminated and we are more and more aware of things now this person of yours we do have them in the world energy and the ace of swords they get some clarity right now about the endings they have information they develop a plan they get smart about um this is your person the world is um happy endings right and new beginnings it's paired with the ace of swords a smarter one uh, one that is more clear um but that is a sense of now i know why um, this is how it feels, you know. Um, of course, it's all the investigation card with the Ace of Swords, um, formal communication, cutting off uh, whatever is unnecessary, and um, I would say embracing in some way this ending. And mutual energy is between you and this person, Ten of Cups, and the Princess of Pentacles, that's the Page of Pentacles. Absolutely, you have kids with this person, you have a family. Uh, you have um, actually they offered you happiness um, and th that is just um, a sense of compromise and a sense of you know yeah that is an ending but let's be kind um, let's be um, you know balanced about and let's focus on what's important family legacy happiness balance and um, and offerings it's like you know let's uh, find the middle ground here um, but it does look like an ending. I mean, they have the world, you have the new beginning with the full, right? They have the last energy of the major arcana. 
you have the first one right so it's a cycle and it's kind of um, a new cycle starting new for both of you but in a beautiful way um, such as moving towards the third week of um, June, we do have the, uh, the Ten of Swords and we do have the Death, so some painful transformation um, that we get smart about, we get more information about, we start a new beginning from this. Again, we have the energy of endings with the Death and the energies of new beginnings right now, absolutely a painful cycle is over. And we are actually moving towards um, new beginnings here. And the overall energy, it is amazing and so in line with your energy because we have the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords. This baby is over. And what we move towards, actually, is wish fulfillment and new beginnings. You have the Nine of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. It was a hell of a journey. Um, such that, yes, it was a hell of a journey. And I believe we are still um, pulling shadows from the past, you know. And death in itself is the energy of shadows and it can take all the shapes and forms, um, um, you know, from again, fear and endings and transformations and, uh, and the energy of um, why dry, why dry, I don't know, sorry, I'm, um, I have all kinds of words in my mind. Um, I'm not gonna tell all of them till I don't uh, figure out. But um, I know Scorpio energy for some of you. Maybe that is a Scorpio involved, and that is a an ending, and that is a very painful situation that this person brought your way, or is about to. Well, moving forward, the person you are dealing with. Of course, they miss you with the Six of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, the energy of stability. They are missing the stability with you, the family, the children. Um, this is the energy of being reminiscent. They are still attached to you emotionally and by the force of things. We do have a couple of kids here. The Sun is um, and Page of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups is about children sometimes. So I believe we kind of have... Um, this energy here but we are also um you know this person of yours is still connected to you mutual energies um coming your coming your way you and this person right we have the world again it is endings and new beginnings and with the page of swords is a smart new beginning looks like a planned one you have it on your side and you have it like in a mutual energy somebody here is very calculated about an ending and a new beginning and look at i mean this is simply crazy and with the leo energy was exactly the same crazy energy guys um we do have the world mutual energy between the two of you coming your way we do have the world and the page of swords right that is an ending and on your side we get the full new beginnings with the page of swords so I mean, the universe cannot be more clear than that. So we went through, um, what was it? The shadows of the valley of death, right? This is how it feels because we do have the death and we have the ten of swords and we have the shadows of the moon. So it was like the shadows of the valley of death. So we went through this and now it's like, no, I want my happiness. I want my wish fulfillment and my new beginning. But it's a very calculated one. Page of Swords is the genius card, right? Unless, of course, you have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your life. Um, and this is what you move towards. Or this is what you leave behind for your wish fulfillment. But that is such, um, you know, uh, good planning in this one. And it's, um, you know, to make sure, to ensure success with the Nine of Cups, right? We want to make sure. Um, because we had experiences and we saw that with our own eyes right so so that is that and hey let's ask for some guidance um such that is what guidance do we need of course this person loves you six of cups ten of pentacles right it's a, over here somebody is screaming but we have children you know i still love you i have emotions you are mine well such that is we do have love endures that's uh, your guidance. 
Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is um, hopeful and withstands every situation. Kind of the universe reminding you, if this is love, it has to endure. If that is no longer love, well, we want new beginnings. We do have the heart of the matter. That is more going on that meets the eye in this situation. The heart of the matter. That is more going on than meets the eye. That is something you don't know. And with all the death and moon, absolutely. And bottom of the deck, um, such as you do have treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. Okay? Self-love is important. Loving others is also important. Now let's um, ask for some guidance here. Let's see what we need to hear and of course you always have to use your better judgment you do have three of cups again reconciliation it's interesting you have it in the past and it's like you're afraid of a reconciliation but now you want new beginnings and endings that's crazy how the universe works today um three of cups wonderful news is on its way announcements regarding engagements pregnancies birth or graduations will be revealed New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. This reading screams um, endings, happy endings with the world twice, a new beginning with the full and all the aces in the world. So, nine of thought, bottom of the deck. We might be a little bit stressed, right? Letting go and starting something new, it's never easy. So we have stop being so hard on yourself, Sagittarius, and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There is no need to worry. Anticipating the worst is unhelpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problems to your angels. Yeah, I know, right? Why the stress? You don't need to stress. You just have to be happy and enjoy Three of Cups is really enjoying easy times, going out with friends, spending time, um, pleasant time. Now the energies we need to get back into the flow Sagittarius and we do have empathy. So I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. So if this is an ending that you want, right? If this is an ending that you put to a situation because we are done, done, done and we need something new. And we want to be happy again. We want to be joyful. We want to leave the shadows in the past, right? And the shadows are following you. I don't know exactly what this is. Um, but there is pain and there are shadows and there is betrayal and we are caring and it, and it can be, you know, not a recent one. Maybe that is, this is like a baggage that we are uh, pulling with us through the journey, right? And if this is what you want, of course, we are guided to do it with empathy and uh, thinking of this um, other person. Such as you do have health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you need to get back, um, you know, in a more, I would say, healthy routine of some sort. We do have surrender to prayer. You have to turn to spirituality or religion. So give yourself over completely to prayer. When you pray from your heart, you will be heard throughout the universe and answers and support will appear. Yeah, kind of saying we need help. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Again, we have health and well-being. So that is something that you need to do about yourself, um, such as... And we do have release, baby. We have the death card twice, right? Is it twice? Is it only once? The world is twice. We do have release. You have the ability to give over unwanted energies to the loving forces of the universe. We absolutely let go of the situation. We have endings and new beginnings, absolutely. Endings and new beginnings planned new beginnings honestly this is how it feels it feels like planned because we are done um with the situation um such as you know i love you right i wish you nothing but the best i want you to stay strong and safe 
ask for help um, when needed. And as always, let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.